This blog is about um, a feature which has been in Microsoft Office quite quietly for a little while. And I think a lot of people don't realise it's there. And it's amazing. And they've just upgraded it. So I thought I'd better do a blog about it. Um, it's called Dictate. And it's a button that you will find in Word, in Outlook and in PowerPoint. So let me show you what you can do with it. So here we are in a new email and this is the dictate button just there. Um, there's also a shortcut which you might like because then you don't even have to push your mouse up to the ribbon and the shortcut is alt and what's called back quote. So if you look on your keyboard alt is next to your space bar and the back quote is the top left button underneath the escape button and that turns on dictate when you're in the body of the email. Can you see that the microphone is now um, live and listening to me? So the one thing that I have to be very careful about is how I phrase things because I stop sometimes <laughs> to think what I'm gonna say next. And uh, this dictate very cleverly puts full stop a new line in. So this dictate is a way to make your speech into text very quickly and get your thoughts roughly down into a document and then you can edit it if you like. Can you see when I say delete that? It takes out the last bit. Delete that. So clever, isn't it? There's quite a lot of things that you can do with it. For example, saying delete by itself removes the last word or punctuation before the cursor. And as I've just demonstrated, saying delete that removes the last spoken utterance. <laughs> so clever. Delete that. An example of using a phrase would be dictating something like, what a super nice day, and then saying, delete super you'd then be left with the phrase, what a nice day. There's a lot of formatting that you can do with it. So you can say, bold, nice day. <laughs> Strike through dictating. Underline phrase. italics for example I really love this so clever so people who don't type very quickly or people who just want to get their ideas onto paper will find this amazing pause dictation <laughs> wonderful isn't it there's so much you can do so i will put a link to um an article about all the things that you can do with it um in with my blog um and the bits i haven't told you about oh you're gonna love for example there are already a lot of languages all the major languages were covered but they've just introduced another 25 languages so if you speak another language as your first language or want to speak another language when you dictate, you can set this up quite easily. And I had to laugh because the latest languages added include English New Zealand. Sorry, I didn't think it was a different language. I thought it was the same. <laughs> and Irish Gaelic. So they really are getting there with their languages. It's fantastic. The other thing that I was tickled by is the profanity filter. <laughs> <laughs> so the profanity filter is there in case you say something that um, it thinks is rude. <coughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> delete that. Delete that. <laughs> delete that. <laughs> delete that. See, I didn't say fox back. So the profanity filter is designed to um, put asterisks in place of any words that it thinks you have said that are possibly offensive to make sure that you don't 
accidentally send some copy out with rude words in. How funny. You're all going to really enjoy testing that, I know. Pause dictation. New line. If you have a smartphone, you can use dictate on your smartphone and it's really good. So just look out for the little symbol of the microphone and have a go with this feature. I'm looking forward to getting some feedback about how useful you found it. That's it from me for now. New line. New line. Bye for now. New line. How good was that? It was really fun, wasn't it? And it's going to be so useful for so many people. I thought I have to share. It's really great, isn't it? So that's Dictate, a new feature that's come through into Word and Outlook and PowerPoint. And I think it might work in OneNote. I haven't tried OneNote yet, um, but I'm willing to bet they'll put it in there. And um, enjoy using Dictate, everybody. And I love the feedback about <laughs> the typos it makes. <laughs> It's really quite accurate most of the time, but I'm just looking forward to hearing what it did and didn't type. So do come back to me and let me know.